Steelers fans, you won't believe the moves the team just made. Pittsburgh brought in a new name to bolster the offense and is betting everything on a comeback that promises to shake up the passing game. But don't worry, he's not exactly the star many imagined, but he could still be a decisive piece alongside George Pickens. And if that already got your attention, just wait until you hear who ended up leaving the team to make room on the roster. Don't miss a single detail and leave your like to follow everything. Steelers fans, you've been calling for a big-time WR edition, and now you've got one. Pittsburgh just made a move to snag Mike Williams from the Jets for a 2025 fifth-round pick. While this trade isn't the blockbuster splash some hoped for, Williams could still be exactly what the Steelers' offense needs, a solid number two option opposite George Pickens. Sure, Steelers nation had dreams of Brandon Ayuk, Devontae Adams, or even DeAndre Hopkins in black and gold. But Ayuk stayed in San Fran, Adams reunited with Rodgers, and Hopkins joined the Chiefs, leaving Pittsburgh to snag Williams. And even if he hasn't racked up a Pro Bowl resume or headlined highlight reels lately, this is a guy with some serious potential to boost the Steelers' passing game. Williams, now 30, came over from the Jets after nine games and 166 receiving yards, and he's no stranger to big numbers. Just look at his seven years with the Chargers, where he piled up nearly 5,000 yards and 31 TDs. He's had a slow start in New York, where he struggled to connect with Rodgers, but he's worked his way back from a tough knee injury last season. Rodgers even mentioned on the Pat McAfee show that he saw Williams gaining speed and looking more comfortable as the season wore on. That could be a sign he's ready to go full throttle with the Steelers. Pittsburgh's plan? Line up Williams opposite Pickens and give QB Russell Wilson, recently acquired, another weapon to challenge defenses downfield. As much as Calvin Austin III and Pat Fryermuth have shown flashes, the Steelers have been missing a true number two who can draw attention away from Pickens. Williams could be just the guy for the job. Longtime Steelers insider Dale Lolly highlighted Williams' value as a downfield threat who can open up the offense. Now more than a year removed from his knee injury, he could be poised for a resurgence and give Pittsburgh the deep threat punch they need. If he can channel his 1,000-yard seasons with the Chargers, the Steelers' offense could look a whole lot scarier and maybe even make them legit contenders. With a 6-2 record, the Steelers are already in the mix, and Williams' debut against the 7-2 Commanders on Sunday could be the start of something big. So what do you think of Mike Williams' arrival? Can he make a difference alongside Pickens? Comment below. Now get ready, because the next news brings a twist that few expected. The Steelers just made a move that might have flown under the radar, but it's worth a closer look. Tight end Rodney Hot Rod Williams II, known for his gritty work on special teams, has officially cleared waivers after getting released by Pittsburgh. That means he's a free agent now, open to joining any team, or even coming back to the Steelers, though their practice squad is already filled. So why was Williams let go in the first place? The Steelers had to make some space after snagging wide receiver Mike Williams and outside linebacker Preston Smith at the trade deadline. It was a move to bolster their roster, but it came at a cost, with Hot Rod among the casualties. A tough break, but it's clear the team had some tough decisions to make with its depth. Williams may not have piled up flashy stats, but his contributions were real. Since getting the call up in week three, He's been a constant on all four special teams units, and his efforts paid off in a huge way against the Giants when his block freed up Calvin Austin III for a 73-yard punt return touchdown. His play on punt coverage, kickoff return, and kickoff coverage also made him a reliable special teams ace. In terms of roster depth, Williams was the fifth tight end behind Pat Fryermuth, Darnell Washington, Michael Pruitt, and Connor Hayward which made his roster spot vulnerable when changes had to be made. A 6'4", 235-pound Memphis product, he's been with Pittsburgh since 2022, mostly on the practice squad before getting his active roster chance last year. He even got some offensive snaps, though he wasn't targeted much in the passing game. This season, he was re-signed after training camp injuries hit the Steelers' roster hard, especially among special teamers. In six games, Williams managed one tackle and some limited offensive time, but his value was really in those special teams played. The arrival of Mike Williams brings a ray of hope to the Steelers' offense, but losing Rodney Williams could cost the special teams dearly. Ultimately, these are risky moves, but they could pay off. 
So, Steelers Nation, will these pieces take us far? Be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date and comment.